Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I've got a nail art tutorial for you on how to do these two mermaid nails here. So um, we've got some stamping going on, we've also got some 3D shell artwork. Um, I've been inspired by quite a few different people for these. Um, for my ring finger I was inspired by Baby Mama Nails from Instagram. I'll leave her link down below where she did sort of a mini tutorial on this sort of nail. So, And as soon as I saw it I knew that I had to recreate it, it was gorgeous. Um, and obviously the 3D um, shell artwork, I've seen quite a few different people see doing sort of the 3D shell. Um, Sophie Hud for one. Um, there's just loads of people, it's sort of really going around, so I can't sort of pinpoint just one person that I was inspired by. But um, these nails are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. They're so girly and pretty. And so if you want to find out how I created these mermaid nails, then just stay tuned. So for my base colours today, I'm going to be using Magpie Gel Colour. So we've got Dolly Daydream, which is the pale blue. Pearls a Singer, which is the pastel lilac. Don't Be Tacky, which is the no wipe top coat. And then Let It Shine, which is your normal top coat. I'm then also going to be using the new Magpie Gel Colour Lamp. So to cure the Magpie Gel Colours. Um, I will be doing a separate video on... Um, the new Magpie Gel Colour Lamp um, but I just thought I'd mention that that is how I am curing my gels today. So then also today I'm using two of the new Magpie Dust products. So the first one that I'll be using is one of the Too Faced Flakes which is Periwinkle which is sort of the blue tone and then of course I'll be using Shelly which is like the unichrome um, dust. Also today I'm going to be using the Dixie Girl ombre brush which is sort of a bit of a demo and a review for you today on how to use this to ombre gel colours. Then for stamping today I've got the um, Dixie Plates Summer 01 stamping plate and I'm going to be using the mermaid scales image there. Then I also have the Dixie Plates um, extra large sort of squishy stamper as well that I'll be using today. So and stamping polish today I'm going to be using Asmeltus to Kelly in these three colours. So we've got Ringo, Icaro and Dixie. So we've got the pastel blue, sort of the turquoise and the lilac. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get Dolly Daydream which is the pastel blue and I'm going to do my thumb for you guys. So I'm just going to do two coats of the blue curing for 60 seconds in my magpie lamp. So once both of those layers have been cured, I'm going to get my Too Faced Flakes in Periwinkle and my Magpie Detailer Brush. And I'm literally going to jam pack the flakes onto the tacky layer. So if you saw my previous flakes video when I did a review and a quick demo, I sort of used it quite sparingly with these ones. I'm going to try and apply as many flakes as I can. We really want to cover this entire nail with the flakes. So, and I'm just using the detailer brush to press them down. They sort of go into the nail quite easily. And you'll know once you can't stick any more. So and then what I'm going to do is just with my finger, once over, I'm just going to go over the nail just to make sure they are all patted down. So then I'm going to get my Don't Be Tacky No Wipe Top Coat and I'm just going to do a layer over the top of the nail and cure for 60 seconds 
in my magpie lamp. So I'm then going to get my stamping plate. So, we so and I'm just going to start placing the stamping polish onto the image. So I'm going to go with the pastel blue at the top, the sort of turquoise colour in the middle, and then the purple at the bottom. So and then I'm actually going to turn the stamping plate around get my scraper and I'm going to sort of go from left to right slightly in motions but I do it quite quickly so you just sort of slightly moving the colours over so that they all blend really nicely together stamp straight down and then I'm just going to go from cuticle to free edge covering my whole nail like that so then I'm now going to use my let it shine Magpie top coat and I'm going to do two coats of this curing in between each layer for 60 seconds in my magpie lamp and there you have the beautiful mermaid scale nail so it's the same as my ring finger so now we'll get on to the middle finger so I'm going to get my two different pastel colours so and we're also going to need our ombre brush for this and you need to make sure that you've got some sort of cotton wool or um, a lint-free wipe just to keep wiping off the excess. Make sure you've got something dry to hand for that. So I'm going to get my blue colour first and I'm going to put that at the top of the nail so do around the cuticle and just kind of feather down the nail like that so and then I'm gonna get my purple color and pop that onto the tip and just kind of meet it up with that blue color like that so then I'm gonna get my ombre brush and it's completely dry so in all we're basically doing is doing a sort of feathering motion with the ombre brush moving it from side to side and then also moving it up and down slightly as well so and obviously I've got gel on the on the brush here so I'm, I'm going to wipe that off and make sure that all of the bristles are really nice and apart and then I can just go back in and go over that nail again. So I'm going to cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. So we're going to do that step sort of again but this time I'm actually going to put purple down first, move it up slightly on the nail, obviously capping all of my free edges and then I'm going to get my blue, start at the top and go down to meet that lilac in the middle so you get quite a block effect but then obviously the brush is basically going to do all of that work for you so same from side to side go down go up but by doing the first bit a bit further down it actually means that as you're blending the purple some of the blue from the other layer is coming out so just wipe off your brush, get all the bristles out and you can basically just do this as many times as you want to. I've actually found that twice is enough, like look at that blend, it looks perfect. So I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So then I'm going to get Gelish Structure Gel, so and this is the gel that I'm going to use to create the sort of 3D um, shell effect. Before I put the Structure Gel onto that nail I'm going to get some um, of the Magpie Cleanser and just rub over the nail quite lightly and all of that is doing is just removing that inhibition layer because when it can be quite sort of um, sticky so the gel when you then put the structure gel on top it will just spread so I found if you get rid of the inhibition layer the structure gel won't move around as much so I've just got my ring thing palette as well and that's just what I'm going to use to pop 
a nice big blob of the structure gel on. Going to get my Magpie striper brush. So, and I'm going to pick up a large, lovely large bit of gel like that right on the tip because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that straight in the middle and then just feather it up. So I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds. So and by flash curing it just means that it's now going to, not going to move around the nail. So I'm going to get another nice big blob and I'm going to do it just at the side here. So a little bit further up but making sure we've got a nice blobby bit at the end. And obviously just feathering that up. We can do the other side as well. So and obviously you're not going right up to the cuticle because we're going to be adding some crystals and things up at that point. So I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds. So again, nice big blobby bit. And we're just going to do the final two bits at the side. And I'm going to cure this nail for 30 seconds now. So once that's been fully cured, I'm going to get my Don't Be Tacky No Wipe top coat. And I'm going to do a nice thin layer of this over the whole nail. And we want to try and make sure that we are also getting in between all of those bobbly bit so this is why I don't tend to use a lot of product on the nail because we want that 3D bit to actually stand out so you can really scrape off the product. So I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So next up I'm going to be using Shelly which is the unichrome dust and I'm going to use my little eyeshadow sponge so I'm just going to wipe the sponge around the outside of the jar and then we're going to rub this all over the nail then I'm going to get my silicone tool and I'm just going to run over that nail and just sort of really buff all of that in so in this silicone tool is really quite good because it's got like these corner bits which means that you can actually get into all of those like little crevice bits. So I'm just going to grab my structure gel again and just using the brush I'm going to put a tiny sort of bit just at sort of my half moon area at the top of the nail. I'm going to be using some Swarovski crystals for this and these ones are called white opal. I'm going to use my um, Tanto by Crystal Ninja so and I'm just going to pick some of the crystals up and sort of place at my half moon area. So I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 30 seconds and I'm going to get my magpie detail a nail art brush. I'm just going to use my ring thing palette that I put the structure gel on before and I'm just going to basically go around all of the crystals individually with this structure gel. Then finally, just to finish off that nail, I'm going to use the Let It Shine top coat. And I'm going to do two layers of this. But So then here is the finished result. These are absolutely stunning. There's so many sort of different colours coming through and they're just so mermaidy, I absolutely love them. I'm just going to turn my daylight lamp off for a second so we can see Shelly. So hopefully you can sort of see a bit more of what Shelly has to offer when she's not in daylight lamp. 
Even if I try and do that, that might help. So there we have some gorgeous mermaid nails with some 3D shell artwork. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial guys. I'll leave all of the links for the products down below for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!